Today, we're going to focus on how to make a digital badge using Adobe Spark. The first thing I did was I went to the left-hand side and I went to the icons. I just searched for badge, just a generic thing. And I took literally the first thing that popped up and made it large to fill the space on my, on my badge. The next thing I did was I put another copy in there because I want to show how we can work in layers and change colors and stuff like that. So I made another copy of the same shape, a slightly different size. I went to the right hand side and I clicked on the little color block and I'm changing that to uh, a light blue. So it's sort of a complementary color scheme. I've got the orange and blue, those opposites next to each other to create high contrast. And I'm going to do that a couple more times just so you can get a sense or where the different things are, because I know if you just watch something happen once, a lot of times you miss some of those steps. So I put in the shape, and then on the right-hand side, I go to select the color. And of course, after I've done that a couple of times, I'm going to want to start to think about other details that can be added. So I might think about adding something like a banner that goes across to show a label. Um, you know, sometimes just looking at an icon, you might not know what it's for. So you got to look at the banner. Um, I'm going to put in just a little text box that explains this is my needlessly complicated badge. So I'm going to put in that little banner and then the T, the T on the left hand side, that text tool is going to allow me to add, um, add the text, add the writing to go across there. So once I find the style that I like, I'm going to resize it, think about those color adjustments to make sure that each of those different elements stands out and is nice and clearly visible within my design. The final thing I'm going to do in my design is I want to add a little a little graphic to go along with it. I know I have this burst of colors that is a little bit complex that goes along with this idea of needlessly complicated design. So again, I'm gonna to go to the left-hand side. I go to the icons and I can search at the top there to find what kind of an icon can I put in? I put in the search term of confused and I'm going to look at all those different icons. I'm gonna choose one, put it in, and then I'm going to get the size, the placement, and the color just how I want it to be. The final step is going to be downloading my image. And the key with this is when I download it, I want it to have a transparent background. Right now you can see there's a white background in my design. I want to make that transparent. So I hit the download button in the top right and I wanna select PNG. A PNG file can have a transparent background. And so I'm going to select a transparent PNG as I download it. Now, I want you to go on to Adobe Spark, get a little bit of practice yourself, think about what would be a badge that somebody might earn in your classroom. Think about what is an achievement you want to mark for your students in your classroom. Go on Adobe Spark and design your own digital badge, then download a copy of it with a transparent PNG background.